Hi, I'm Jordan, and on this channel we talk about the psychology of seduction, the mysticism of romance, and the adventure of intimate relationship. Now, I had a question recently from a client which was, how can I connect with women when I'm intimidatingly smart? And I love this question very much. Basically, my client gave me a little bit of background and he said he, um, he had feedback from women who he would go on a first date with and they would sit there and he would share about his interests and his hobbies and his passions for a while and towards the end of the date, the woman would say, listen, um, I find you a bit intimidating or a bit smart and um, they wouldn't go for a date number two. He also gave... He also said that he had the experience of talking to a woman, going into a room, meeting her for the first time, and he could just about perceive, you know, from the corner of his eye, that she kind of kept a little bit of a distance. So you can see kind of her body would close up a little bit and there would be a little bit of a, I need to protect myself against a guy who is intimidatingly smart like you. So we're gonna tackle this question over the course of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then click the subscribe button below and the bell notification because we're going to be putting out a whole bunch of videos on topics just like these. Okay, let's dive in. So the first thing I want to say is that I love this question so much because it was something that I've answered for myself in years gone by. When I first worked towards um, understanding myself and dating and women, I really dedicated myself to it for a few months and thought about these questions tirelessly, met women tirelessly and asked their feedback. And so for a big period of my early dating life, I was living in a 27 story condominium in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And I went down to the basement one day, they had a community gym in the basement and there was a gorgeous woman on the, um, on the cross trainer. And so didn't go and approach her right away and ask her out, but I waited for an opportune and non-invasive moment where I could go and have a chat with her and I ended up saying hello and inviting her out for lunch and she came an hour later with me. And so we sat in this restaurant for lunch and we talked for about an hour and a half or two hours and she told me all about her life. And basically she was a Brazilian woman, she was a model, and she had just returned from 15 years working in Paris, where she'd been shot for all the major magazines, um, major fashion houses and so on. She decided to wrap that part of her life up and come back to Brazil. So amazing conversation, amazing woman, and she told me by the end of the conversation, wow, you know, Jordan, I feel a bit intimidated by you. And so we paid the bill and walked home and I was in my head thinking, she feels intimidated by me? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because I thought the shoe would be on the other foot, you know? I was, here was this shy guy wanting to understand women and dating and she was a Brazilian model who had worked in Paris. I thought, wow, I, I should be the one who's intimidated, but it turns out it was her. And so I sent her a message or two over the following days, uh, waiting to see if she would get back to me. And alas, she did not. <laughs> and so I think it turned out that intimidating woman turned out to be not such a good thing. Now, a few months later, I found myself sat in the house with a couple of friends and a group of beautiful women. And one of the habits I'd gotten into at that time was to ask all the women that I met feedback about me this was a really valuable step. I would say, listen, I'm a student of love, I'm a student of attraction and romance, and I want to understand uh, how women see me. Would you give me some real honest feedback? I promise I'll take it well and not enter into an argument with you. And I remember one of the women that night gave me the feedback. She said, Jordan, um, I think you're really smart. And there was just something about the way she said smart and her eye kind of got big with a little bit of fear in it. Uh, as if to say, um, yeah, you're smart, but uh, it actually scares me a little bit. And then she got onto the second part of her feedback, which was, yeah, I really like hanging out with you, but I wonder that if we were in a locked room together, I think I might be a little bit scared. And so I really took that in and had a look at that, like, wow, like, 
having an intimidating presence, um, that's not the effect that I want to have on women. So I really took this exploration really, really seriously. And so in this video, I'm going to share three things that I found that have been really powerful on this particular journey. So the first question that I started to ask myself is, what is the opposite of intimidatingly smart? So if that's the kind of sharp end of the spectrum, what's the other? How can I show up in a way that's the polar opposite of being intimidatingly smart? And so went on lots of explorations on this, but I soon found that women seem to really, really, really appreciate it when I showed up in a way that was flustered or sheepish or rustled or imperfect. Basically, any time that my kind of emotions would get the better of me and my face would go a little bit red and I would lose some of my sharpness and composure, uh, that seemed to be the kind of moment that women would feel really endeared by and then feel safe enough to gravitate to me in. And it was a really beautiful exploration actually of my vulnerability. A lot of men actually think they need to be more sexy to, in, to become more attractive to women, but actually I found a lot of men, we need to be more available. And sometimes that kind of softness and vulnerability acts as a door saying kind of, you know, I'm open over here, you can come and see me. And I might be smart or even intimidating in some states, but I also have another side of my humanity, which is um, totally uncertain, totally human, and doesn't exactly know all of the answers. And that place in yourself is a really, really important place to get to know and then be willing to share that to the women that you meet. I even had a little period of time where I'd feign a little bit sheepishness or ham up that, that part of my own expression just to let it out more and more and more. So I'm not advocating that you, you fake it, but for a period of time, really get to know that side of yourself because it's that, that juxtaposition or those two polar opposites of character seem to be really powerful when a man can fully express both sides of those. The second discovery I made on this particular topic is to really, really own your intimidating smartness. So going completely contrary to what I just said in the last point, but if you are smart, if you are intelligent, if you are piercing, penetrating, blistering in your insight, if you've got absolute dominion over one topic or one realm of the human experience, then I'd suggest you own that. Really, really own it. Declare to the world what you are good at. Show to the world of women what you are good at. And don't make any hesitation about allowing yourself to be a little bit arrogant from time to time. A lot of us grow up in cultures where we are told not to be arrogant, no one likes and you know, no one likes someone who's in love with themselves. But actually, um, it can be really powerful to not be afraid of that arrogance and let the world see what we've got in store. What surprised me over and over again was that some women might be attracted to me when we're on a date and we go into that gorgeous bubble of intimacy and I can charm and seduce and go deep and reveal myself and go into that mushy, beautiful space. But I soon realized that actually women seem to be inspired and attracted to me more when they got to see me at work or in action. And when they got to see direct uh, moments of my, my, my skill, my brilliance, my intimidating intelligence. And from the side, you know, if they were receiving that, they might feel a little bit intimidated by it. But from the side of that, they're like, fuck, in this part of life, this man kicks ass. That is inspiring to me. And I think some of the greatest relationships and intimate moments I've had have been moments where women have seen me in that kind of action and they've gotten to know that part of me. See, I think while a lot of women will be intimidated by you if you're an intelligent man, on the other hand, if you are brilliant in something, there's going to be a small pool of women who think that that is the absolute best 
thing <laughs> you know available in the universe whether even if it's something that you think is unsexy like science math engineering and so on computer programming there's going to be a certain pool of women that look at you and think wow in this area this man is a genius and that is something that i can uh, rest in or follow or be inspired by and what I've heard over and over again by beautiful women, especially the kind of powerful, beautiful women that there are so many of nowadays, uh, beautiful, powerful women have told me over and over again, I can only really be attracted to a man if he absolutely kicks my ass and is better than me in one particular pursuit. And so I'm calling you forth to own your intelligence, knowing that, yeah, you might scare away all of the wrong ones. And that's just the effect I think you want. Okay, so number three. This one might be a little bit harder to compute, and this is why the live feedback from women can be really valuable. But the third point on this is to become very, very aware of your sexual energy. Now, this is, of course, important for many reasons, but when it comes to that kind of first initial impression, initial bit of presence that might intimidate a woman, if you've got your sexual energy and your intimidatingly smart energy mixed together, oftentimes that might kind of creep over into her space and scare her off a little bit. So you might be very, very smart, you know, in your center, in your power, being great, but oftentimes a bit of sexual attraction causes men to kind of lean in, the eyes to open wide, the, you know, the jaw to open, the... <laughs> the mouth to salivate and I think the combination of um, uh, an unconscious slightly invading leaning in sexual energy with intimidating smartness is a really scary and intense proposition and so even if you're intimidatingly smart my coaching kind of adjustment or invitation for you is to learn how to rest in your smartness in your presence and feel your sexual energy without that kind of creeping out and uh, by doing that, you're not going to be invading her space slightly or subtly. And you're going to be powerful in your presence, allowing her, if she's attracted to you, to start gravitating towards you. So there's a subtlety in that. And as I said, if you have the opportunity to come, come and see us live and do some work with us live, we're going to be able to see the kind of presence that you hold and we'll have a team of women standing face to face with you opposite you showing you moment to moment how you make them feel whether they can relax surrender open feel attraction towards you or whether they feel slightly like they need to pull away and protect themselves because there's something in your presence that just causes that closure that self-awareness i found for my life to be absolutely priceless So there we have it, three tips to help you overcome possibly the sticking point which is being intimidatingly smart to the kind of women that you're attracted to. Try them out and let me know in the comments below what you experience and what difference some of this stuff makes. If you really want to get this, come and see us live. The link to our upcoming live event is in the comments below. And as always, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be uploading videos tackling topics like this one a couple of times a week and if this resonates with you i'd love to have you on board for this long journey of understanding that we're all on when it comes to experiencing wonderful wonderful things in our intimate relationships thank you for watching i'm jordan see you in the next video